What is Dental Year? Dental Year is the leading marketing app in dentistry. Created by marketers, this resourceful platform helps your dental practice in a variety of ways. Content inspiration, real-time marketing ideas, tips on ROI with your current methods, fresh resources, and lots more. Hi, thanks for tuning in to another episode of Buzz. I'm your host, Brad, and hope everyone listening, watching is doing fantastic. Today on the podcast, we're going to be talking about local link building for dental websites. Now, this is a uh, really important initiative for your local SEO, your search engine optimization. A lot of people are searching for dentists near me, best dentist near me, dental implants near me, things like this. And one of the factors that dictates the popularity, the ranking of a local website is the amount of other websites locally pointing back to your website, right? So if you're in Madison, Wisconsin, hypothetically, the amount of local websites pointing to your website is a really important factor for your SEO, more so than like big national websites or something pointing to you. So you really wanna focus on local. And don't be so concerned about how popular these local websites are, their traffic. Clearly, the more popular, better, but you want to get as many as possible. So you're not going to have hundreds of these, obviously, um, but over time, you want to have dozens and dozens of quality of local links, and it doesn't happen overnight. This is an ongoing process that your team, your marketing person should be aware of. And, you know, strategies on this, you know, how do you get a couple a month and reach out to people? And so these are some... Uh, places where you could try to find local link building opportunities for your dental website. And I'll just go through some, okay? Local newspapers, obviously great. Whether you're doing an article or an ad, always ask for a link back to your website. Uh, Any other types of media outlets, if you're doing a press interview, if there's an opportunity to get a link back, always ask. Local bloggers are great, right? If you're in Madison, once again, and there's obviously tons of blogs in the area, reach out to them. Hey, can we provide you a blog post on five ways to uh, maintain healthy, beautiful smiles, things like this, and see what they want in return, okay? And even if you have to pay a little bit for these, that's fine, okay? Um, local event pages are really huge. We're, we're like doubling down on events now, and we're gonna start putting out more content in regarding events in terms of in-office events and going to local events, but just local event pages are great. So if you're sponsoring a local event, you're giving out, you know, donating product, always ask for a link back to your website. Even if that's like a one-time landing page that that event uh, person creates for the event, always ask for the link. That's a quality local uh, link back to your website. Downtown directories, right? If there's a downtown directory for Madison, Wisconsin, Reach out to them. How do we get our dental practice listed on your directory? Really quality local link. I talk about Chamber of Commerce uh, links all the time. Hugely powerful. Really heavy quality website, the local Chamber of Commerce. Even if you do nothing with the Chamber, you don't go to an event, you don't sponsor, nothing. as long as you're just a member and you get that quality link, it's worth the yearly fee just for the SEO juice. What other business and partners do you have relationships with in the area? Right? Is it a chiropractor? Is it a restaurant? Is it a hotel? Kind of as a team, brainstorm ideas like who who do we already know and have relationships with? You know, let's reach out to them. Maybe on their website they have uh, a section our favorite local businesses or our partners, or you could do the same, and reach out to them. How do we get on your website? What do you need? You know, uh, we'd love to be featured on your website, and you already have these relationships, so you want to you know. Tap into those and then moving forward, keep a track of where the opportunities are. Um, Who else, like in terms of local partners, you know, not so much dental labs, but like who's helping and assisting you in your daily activities at the practice? And, you know, maybe you have a a local partner who comes in and paints the walls every couple of years. That's a partner or a contractor, a sign company. These are all businesses that you could partner up with and get a link. Um, And I just mentioned uh, partners or businesses we love page. You could even do that. Have a businesses we love page on your website and give some love out to to your favorite um, companies in the area. You know, local charities, a lot of you are doing a lot of altruism and giving back, which is beautiful. You're not doing it for this reason, marketing purposes. But if you are uh, affiliated or supporting any local charities, there's nothing wrong with asking them for a link back 
to your website. And obviously those are beautiful, beautiful uh, causes. Um, local schools, local libraries, obviously .edu websites have a lot of weight. So those, those are great uh, if you could get uh, links back. If you're sponsoring local organizations, local sports teams, soccer teams, youth sports, always ask for the link back. Schools, any affiliations in the area if you're a part of, always remember to ask for links back to your website. Group websites. I mean, there's community pages, directories. If you if you teach at a school, I mean, those carry a lot of weight. Uh, there's so many opportunities, right? If you have a party at a restaurant and they have a blog and say, listen, we had our yearly you know team party at your restaurant. We spent X amount of dollars. You don't have to mention that, but you know, you say we love the restaurant. We come in here yearly. Can you mention it on your blog that? This dental office uh, celebrates the yearly holiday party at our office, right? Like you just got to get creative and track these things. So have a spreadsheet, have a document at your office. Who'd you reach out to? What was the response? How many links are you getting? And then who's ever running the Google Analytics on your website? Uh, you want to track how many links are pointing back to your website. You could also track how many links are pointing back to your competitors' websites. And this is a really, really important factor, like I mentioned earlier, in terms of your quality SEO. We use a great platform called SEM Rush. That's how we run reports for all our client websites. I um, mean, there's a great tool on there to see how many links are pointing to your website or competitors' websites. Uh, and so you really wanna dig into the data. And I also wanna reiterate once again, you don't need thousands of these things, right? A few dozen here or there, they start adding up. We have one office in particular who really doubled down on this initiative years ago. And I know that's really cemented their local SEO and it's like tremendous. They're always ranking quality consistently. It's been a huge driver of new patients for them for years. And uh, we just wanna help help you follow that model in your, your area, in your local community. So thanks so much for tuning into this episode of Buzz. Continue to focus on local link building for your dental website and have fun with your marketing. Because if you do that, you'll be a wizard of buzz. Take care. If you're looking for more reach, engagement, and conversion with your dental practice marketing, download the Dental Year app today.